In a series of stories we call The Rebound, we're sharing tips and tools to help you and your family recover from the impact of COVID-19. And right now, many families are reaching out for the very first time for assistance from the Utah Food Bank. Now, with that in mind, we wanted to share tips on how people all over the state can utilize this important food resource. You know, demand is like nothing we have ever seen before, and I've been involved for many, many years. Jeanette Bott heads the Utah Food Bank, which held its largest single food distribution event ever last week. Here we go, here we go, here we go. In the Maverick Center parking lot in West Valley City. It's so humbling when you stand in a parking lot with 5,000 cars and you see a child who smiles and excited because they have a carrot. Or you see a mother who's crying because she'll be able to feed her kids for the upcoming days. 29,000 people received food. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. We did not run out of product. Jeanette says it was the first time for many of them. They've never had to go to a pantry or ask for this kind of help. Which begs the question, can the Utah Food Bank meet the current and growing demand? But we need to be sure that no one is going without because there are services, there are product, and there are a lot of us here who are here to help. And we're very fortunate to have, you know, several positive things in our favor. We have many manufacturers who are, are, are here locally and, and close to us. And we have a lot of storage space here. We have a huge facility, so we had a great inventory when this started. Recent news reports have shown farmers dumping potatoes and other produce they can't sell, since big customers like restaurants, school cafeterias, hotels, and cruise lines are no longer buying. Can the Utah Food Bank use some of what's going to waste? Yes, we can, and yes, we are. We're now working with another partner who hopefully can take those potatoes and turn those into um, a, an instant potato product that would be in a family-sized serving. It will also have shelf life so that we can use it over the months to come. Some milk and dairy products are also being redirected. The challenge that we have as an organization is that when you look at pantries across the state of Utah, some communities have a brick and mortar Others have a very small, perhaps it's a, even a closet in a church or a location. So each facility in each county is not the same. Depending on a food bank is not what most people anticipate, but we're all just trying to find our way through this difficult time. The biggest mistake you can make is not asking for that help. It's here, it's in, in communities across the state. All the individual has to do is call 211. It's a toll free number give the person they talk to on the phone their zip code. That entity will give them all sorts of help in their neighborhood, whether it's with their rent or food or medical assistance. You don't have to give them the name if you're uncomfortable with that. 211 is that number for more information. And again, you do not have to give your name. You do have to give your zip code, but not your name. And Jeanette speculates that the Utah Food Bank will actually see an increase in demand for the next 12 to 18 months as we rebound from the effects of COVID-19. Wow, big increase, but yet the food bank says we can do it. Yep. We will always have food yep. for That's anybody exactly in need. That's exactly right. If you'd like more stories and resources, including information about unemployment, job searches, and small business loans, go to fox13now.com and click on the Rebound Utah tab right at the top of the page. And if you do have a story that showcases Utah rebounding from the pandemic, email us at rebound at fox13now.com.